Mumbles Man's house. Ten minutes. Then we're heading to the land of Nada. It's uh, about 3.15. Low tide's about 5.30, I think. Just the edge of dark around here. I don't know what we'll find, but it's been very bleak. But ain't much else going on. It's too buggy to go in the dirt for me right now. So we'll be on the beach in a half hour, maybe. I'll get back to you. Well, it's November the 1st. No parking meters. Park anywhere we want now. We're going right here to First Street. The Rudy Inlet Rocks. We're going to work towards the pier. It's about 50, 56 degrees. I got my flip-flops on. Danny's got his Bermudas on. Stand by. It's been breezy like I told you already. Gathered up them beach eagles. Look at them. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a flock of them like that. There was a big whale, got a juvenile whale washed on the beach yesterday down at the north end. I see one surfer anyway. A lot of people on the rocks fishing. This is fishing season now for speckles. And they got a big steep, steep slope here. The first target is a scratchy four. We might have it. Yeah, we got it, but it's scratchy. Brand. I don't know why they gotta sound good sometimes. A 12. Seems kind of big. We got it. I can feel it. I don't know what it is, but it's big. Ain't too big now. <laughs> Belly button ring. Huh. Damn. Stand by. Tab. Oh yeah, okay. Got a scratchy nine.
Now it's all iron. Now it's, it sounds okay now. I don't expect it much here. Looks like a bottle cap to me. A rusty bottle cap too. Look at that baby. Minus six now. Minus six, Less okay. It sounds like a penny. Wow. I guess it's a cruddy penny. Oh yeah, cruddy penny. Okay. A four. See anything? Must be a little. Crap. A little crap too. There's a few targets around, but Still nothing of any consequence. A little angry. Probably a I dug two already. Bottle yep, cap. bottle cap. Sounded good. Well, right there is the playground on 10th Street. I guess you can see it. That's 10 blocks we've been. That's as far as I'm going. There's a pier. I'm turning around. Bleakness, total bleakness. Okay, here we go. Southbound. Right. I'm going back that way. All right. Name what's happening. Well, we got a 12 here. We got it, whatever it is. My like crap to me, but I don't see anything that looks exciting. Oh, must have fell out. I washed out. Twelve fell out. I had a twelve, I don't know where it went to. I think we're gonna have to give up on it.
Sounds good, dude. I don't give up. Yeah. Well, it is a roundup, but it is one dime bullet jacket. When I first dug this up, I thought it was a belly button ring, but as you can see, it's just the nose piece for a pair of sunglasses. And I got another half a sunglass. Got no clue what this is. A little teeny doodad. Some more teeny doodads. This sounded good. Well, what it is? Ah, there's Boo Boo. Ah, Boo Boo. You hungry? Tonight we're having potatoes, boiled potatoes, not mashed, just boiled. Pork chops, and it was a cost up between applesauce and cranberry sauce. So I have a preference for cranberries, as you could probably figure out. So we have cranberries again tonight. I'll get back to you. Well, we're in the fire. Well, the chops are ready. Let's get them out of there. Now we got to clean up the grease. We got leftover potatoes and two more pork chops for tomorrow. Lunch or breakfast or maybe more pork chops for dinner. I don't know yet. There's our stuff. We got to start cutting up. You ready, Indians? Yeah, ready. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready, she said. Big Jack, you ready? I like pork chops, he said. Oh, you gonna talk to us, little Indian? You big old Jack? Pork chops, that's how I like them. Well, the blacklist is on. I just made it. I got everything chopped up. I got a makeshift table. And I got two hungry Indians. Plus, Mr. Boo Boo is hungry. He loves pork chops. <laughs>